Hello everyone and welcome to Eyes to See. My name is Chris and I will be your guide today. And today we're going to decode uh, the halftime show of the Super Bowl 58 titled Ushering in the Antichrist. The Super Bowl was uh, halftime show was performed by the artist Usher and we will examine and break down the halftime show in this decode. So let's begin. My methods of decoding um, as always, is going to be primarily the Chaldean Gematria cipher. The Chaldean Gematria cipher is based on the numbers one through eight. It's based on the phonetics of the letters, the sounds of the letters, and it's similar to the new musical scale of Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, the number eight be being the octave. Um, the letters are grouped up by sounds. It's the oldest known numerology or Gematria cipher on earth. It has that antiquity, and I believe it is the uh, most pure and most revealing cipher in Gematria. It pairs very well with the English ordinal cipher, which is a very simple cipher, matching uh, the numbers 1 to A and the number uh, 26 to the letter Z. Um, it also has a lot of relevance. Generally, it gives us higher scores than the Chaldean. Um, so it gives us other, um, another avenue to explore uh, bigger numbers. Um, they both pair very well. Specifically, the English Ordinal Cipher pairs very well with the Bible. And I use the Strong's Bible Concordance. Um, it is a concordance of the Hebrew and the Greek. So the Old Testament written in Hebrew was indexed by number. And then the New Testament written in Greek was also indexed by number giving us the strong concordance. Um, I also use rules of numerology, but uh, in this de decode, I stuck primarily to strong concordance, the Chaldean and the English ordinal cipher. So let's begin. So to start off, I wanted to explain the double V or the W symbolism that we uh, often see. This uh, specific symbol here of the double V uh, w, the two V's interlocking, making an X in the middle. Uh, this symbol is seen uh, pretty much uh, in a lot of places, uh, in Wikipedia for one, um, but this is an old ancient symbol. And we can see here, this is a centuries old witch marks uh, in hidden cave. And we can see the, uh, the double V, uh, W symbols here carved in the rocks. I believe there's others. And uh, this article can be found at livescience.com, witchmarkscavern.html. And this is a, a snippet from the article. It says, protective witchmark carvings are also known as apotropaic marks from the Greek word apotropian, which means to turn away. Uh, that has some biblical uh, implications. Um, we want to turn away from our sins, but in this application, I imagine it's uh, an implication is to turn away from God. The variety of marks in the cave is extraordinary. There are references to the Virgin Mary in the inscriptions PM for Pace Maria and in a double V engravings, uh, meaning the Virgin of Virgins. According to the Creswell Craig's statement released in February, some marks are designed resembling boxes, mazes, and diagonal lines and are thought to represent devices for trapping evil. Um, so looking to our Chaldean Gematria cipher, we see the words, a virgin of virgins, sums to 55. Interestingly, that matches the double V reference. In Roman numerals, the V is the number five. So we can interpret this double V symbol as two fives, giving us the 55. The V is also an arrowhead down and a second arrowhead down giving us a double down reference as well. The W is also a reference to the, our twin paradigm, our angel demon paradigm as well. Um, it has lots of references and is used quite frequently and we'll see it used here in the halftime show a little later. So looking at chat GPT, we see that the letters U and V were used interchangeably at one point in history. Um, the use of the U was used as a vowel and the use of the V was used as a consonant. So we can interpret the U and the V as the same letter if we choose to. So uh, looking at Usher, we see that Usher gives us a sum score in Chaldean of 21, 
matching the tarot card. The world card is the 21st card of the tarot deck. Uh, the letter U is also the number 21. And the number 20, 21 can be seen as a 7 plus 7 plus 7, 7, 7, 7, which we see often in casinos and other places. Um, we see the tarot card here of the world card. This is the world we live in. It is governed by the female goddess in the center of the, uh, this could be seen as a circle or perhaps a womb. Um, and the female is na naked inside. Um, she is the bait in the trap. Um, and we can see here that she has the coiled DNA around her holding the twin pillars, one of Yakin and Boaz, or good and evil, the duality within the system, all surrounded by the snake eating its tail, the Ouroboros, with the twin X symbolism on the Ouroboros, all under the canopy of the heavens. This is the fixed cross of the zodiac. This is Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Aquila, and the eagle is also known as the Scorpio, Scorpion. Um, so also interesting, we're going to look at Usher's set list for the halftime show. And this is the song list. Uh, it starts with Caught Up, You Don't Have to Call, Superstar, Love in This Club, If I Ain't Got You, My Boo, Confessions 2, Nice and Slow, Burn, You Got It Bad, OMG for Oh My God, Turn Down for What, and Yeah. And I interpreted this caught up, up as a reference to uh, heaven or the angels and down is a reference to hell or the demons. Um, and we know an angel is the five pointed star pointed up and the upside down pentagram down is a reference to um, the angels with their head down. And this upside down uh, pentagram is featured prominently on the Church of Satan logo. And if we look at it caught up where they caught the up facing angel um, who is now fallen to earth that you don't have to call that you're here you're the superstar we know that we are the stars and we are superhuman angel demons uh, love in this club with the club being a reference perhaps to earth if i ain't got you my boo confessions bring your alibis and if you don't pass the test there's a nice and slow burn you got it bad and you'll be screaming oh my god and you'll be turned down for what and yeah as in celebration so, so we're going to start here this is the beginning of the halftime show and we see usher sitting on a throne or a chair and he's wearing what appears to be uh, a king's robes there's lots of uh, michael jackson references here the king of pop and on the throne is uh, Usher's logo here within a, it's a U within a circle. And there's another one here, another U within a circle, giving us the double U reference uh, right on the throne. And uh, this we'll see also that Taylor Swift was shown quite frequently um, throughout all the propaganda leading up to the Super Bowl, as well as during the Super Bowl, they kept uh, showing her in the crowd as well. And on Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do uh, video, we see she as well has flashed this W reference up on, a, uh, up on the top of the stairs where this throne is as well, uh, on a throne at the crowd, at the s sort of the, the zombie-like droned uh, populace here, uh, the U squad, the W squad. And we can see here that uh, Satan on a throne is 55, uh, matching Satan in English, 55, 55, matching the double U, because we are a double U at 55. And interestingly, we have five fingers on our left hand and five fingers on our right hand, giving us a total of 10. And Marilyn Manson says, you say God, I say 10. Um, Usher in English gives us a score of 71. 71 on the periodic table matches the Lucifer element, lutetium, lu, uh, with the atomic weight of 174. And we know through Manley P. Hall's research that 174, 741, the anagram, is the number of Lucifer. 
and we see here that this is the artwork provided by the Royal Society of Chemistry. Uh, we see the upside down rainbow. We are the upside down rainbow um, on a sea of red, perhaps a sea of blood with the Trinity overhead, the banner of the Trinity, the authority over top of our head here. Um, so, so there's your two screen captures I was able to find uh, from images of uh, Taylor Swift that were shown during the Super Bowl itself. I thought the uh, times on uh, that they showed Taylor Swift were relevant. Uh, the first one I captured here was within the third quarter at 3 minutes and 14 seconds, which is a reference to Pi. And we see here that uh, Taylor Swift is wearing a pendant on a chain, and the pendant is the number 87. Uh, this is easily seen as a reference to her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, um, who wears the number 87, but 87 in English matches the word witches. And uh, we see here her friends that are to her side wearing all black. One is wearing what appears to be a fixed cross on her pendant here that almost looks like an upside down cross, but um, I don't believe it is. I believe it's a fixed cross. And we see here that what she's wearing, the clothing that she's wearing is Balenciaga. We can see that on her sleeve and it's also the logo on her uh, turtleneck here. And we know Balenciaga from the Balenciaga scandal where they had some uh, children in bondage in their advertising. And uh, we know that to be a quite a satanic um, corporation. Uh, and the word Balenciaga in Latin to English translates Balenciaga, translates to Bal the King. And uh, Balenciaga, interestingly, it, is the number 55 in English, again matching Satan at 55. And we see here that then they also showed uh, in overtime here, they showed uh, Miss Swift um, at 156 of the overtime. And 156 is a cryptic reference to the number 911. And we know in Revelation 911 is when uh, we learn that there, uh, that the locusts in the pit had a, had a ruler named uh, Apollyon or Abaddon, otherwise known as Satan. Um, the number 87 in English had some interesting um, connections to the game. Stadium was an 87 in English, matching tight end, which is the position Travis Kelsey plays at 87. War games, which is what football is uh, mimicking here. A Hail Mary, which is uh, not only an homage to the Virgin of Virgins, but is also um, a play in football. Phantom, which is a reference that Taylor Swift has used in her Are You Ready For It song, where she says, knew he was a killer first time that I saw him, wondered how many girls he had loved and left haunted. But if he's a ghost, then I can be a phantom. And the word phantom is a biblical reference from Genesis 127, for the word Salem, where we are created in the image of Elohim, and the word image is Salem, otherwise a phantom. And uh, the word artist also equals 87 here, and uh, she is a self-proclaimed artist. So um, I thought there were some interesting matches there as well. So let's move on. So after Usher uh, gets up off of the throne that he's sitting on, we see the images framed with two upside down females on the left and the right, showing us the twin female system. And we know that we are the 2X, which describes the female system. The 2X is a 55. So there's lots of 55 references here. And uh, we get a further uh, shot away from the throne here. And we can see the implication here. I highlighted it, it appears appeared to me to be an upside down pentagram. And uh, also of interest, um, they, they framed Usher with this torch over his head um, several times. Uh, you can see it here in this frame. And that torch over his head is similar to the torch over the Baphomet's head here sitting on the throne, um, giving us the as above, so below sign here. Um, and the throne also has, uh, I know it's the, um, the posts here for the uh, football, but the way that they framed it perfectly, um, we see here that it gives us the appearance of the twin towers, the Yakin and Boaz. 
as well. The next um, image I thought was interesting was when Alicia Keys came on stage. Um, if you watched my previous decode on the Super Bowl and Leave the World Behind, you could see that it was uh, heavily tied to Barack Obama. And I thought that the surprise guest of Alicia Keys coming out to sing, um, we know that uh, Alicia Keys has a direct tie to Mr. Obama, where she sang at his inauguration ball, and she sang the song Obama's on Fire. And uh, Mr. Obama is known as Mr. Luke 1018, and interestingly, Obama's on Fire, some to 118 and we can uh, add or subtract a zero in numerology and we can see that number as 1018. Uh, the song she sang at this piano was called If I Ain't Got You, giving us a sum score of 49 in Chaldean, matching the King of Pop, which there is plenty of Michael Jackson references in this halftime show. Kansas City Chiefs, uh, one of the teams playing for the Super Bowl 58. Circle of Life, we can see that the piano here is within a circle. Highway to Hell, um, we can see perhaps a pit or a, um, a, perhaps that is the highway to hell here. Uh, down in a hole is the sum score of 49. Demonic Entity, Skull and Bones, The Beast System, The Lucius Trust, um, which is the uh, tied to the United Nations. Antichrist System is also 49 let alone that the 49ers was one of the teams here um, that was playing in Super Bowl 58, and 49 matches uh, indium on the periodic table of elements, the 49th element with an average atomic weight of 114. I've shown in my decodes before, the number 114 in Chaldean is tied to the prince of the power of the air, and this is in going down in a hole, down in a hole, indium, and we see a reference here to the upside down cross or the double cross within the artwork. And not only that, but uh, Alicia Keys, uh, the frame reference here, you can see two crosses to her left and to her right, one to her left, one to her right, a double cross reference. And I felt like this image to me um, was an homage to a dragon. Um, we can see, I've heard other uh, decoders say that is a piano with blood and altar that, that can be seen as well. Um, but I thought perhaps this was an homage to uh, the year of the dragon and uh, rides a red dragon because she appears to be riding a red dragon. Here's another image of a, a rider on a red dragon with the uh, dragon mouth open here. I thought it was pretty similar and rides a red dragon gives us a score of 49. This other image um, when Usher got off the throne was one of the dancers who came by the camera. She uh, gave us this mocking tongue uh, image. Um, we know that the mocking tongue is an insult to the Lord. And we know we learned that in Isaiah 57, four, where it says, against whom do you sport yourselves? Who are you making fun of? Against whom make you a wide mouth undraw the tongue. Are you not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? Um, so I thought that was uh, an interesting uh, image right at the beginning of this halftime show. And then uh, right after that, they showed us a uh, all these girls in blue looking like peacocks. As well, Usher came out wearing a phoenix brooch or a phoenix pin um, on his uh, lapel here. And we know that the peacock and the phoenix are um, are synonyms in sim symbology. According to ChatGPT, the peacock has been used as a symbol akin to the phoenix. It symbolizes renewal, immortality, and resurrection. And uh, the mirroring the phoenix's legendary ability to rise from its ashes. So there's going to be some burning here, a new. And the symbolic parallel allows the peacock to be seen as a representation of the phoenix, especially in contexts emphasizing renewal and the cyclical nature of life and spirituality. The next scene we'll look at 
is the uh, shadow clock. Um, I saw, to me, this looked like a little bit of a reference of wheels within wheels, or a clock within a clock. Um, and then Usher, uh, the shadow stops here at the seven, and uh, Usher says it's seven o'clock on the dot. On the dot, I'm in my drop top. And the number seven is a reference to Baal and Chaldean. And in the Bible, the number seven is the Hebrew word abad. It means to perish. Uh, the definition to perish or to destroy, destroyed. Um, so I wonder what they're destroying here, what the homage is. And interestingly, the next scene shows us uh, some destruction. As we see here, uh, the scene being set up where Usher is still on the same stage, it turns to red. And we see the mirroring of him stretching his arms out like uh, Christ on the cross. And we see the upside down shadow uh, framed up as well as the double cross. Uh, the double cross reference is also seen from the sky uh, on the satellite view of the Vatican City, where we see St. Peter's Basilica. St. Peter was crucified on the upside down cross and the cross of Christ above it within the locked keyhole. Um, born on the double cross is an 87. We've seen that number featured on uh, Taylor Swift's pendant. It is also the number of her boyfriend Travis Kelsey who wore the number 87 as well. And we see um, the next song that was played was called Burn and we see here that Usher says let it burn, let it burn, gotta let it burn, uh, but you know that it's over. Um, and we see the fire reference here of this uh, all the clock and the wheels uh, getting lit on fire and burning creating maybe ashes for a phoenix to rise up out of. The scene transitions and goes into the blue theme now. And we know that the red coloring is uh, symbolic of, the, uh, of Adam. Blue is symbolic coloring of Cain or the feminine. And uh, the scene transitions with a downward uh, spiraling pit uh, illusion here on the stage. And in Revelation 2, 9, 2, and he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun of, a, of the and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Um, so I'm wondering what they're paying uh, reference to here. Um, Usher then also came out wearing his blue outfit, and on his chest was a downward arrow pointing directly at his. Uh, private area and he sung the song turned down for what uh, the song turned down for what sums to 72 in Chaldean the number 72 is a reference or can be seen as a reference to the 72 names of angels and demons and according to chat GPT here the 72 names of angels and demons these 72 names each associated with an angel and its counterpart demon hold the key to profound spiritual power and knowledge these names are often used in mystical practices and rituals, like a Super Bowl halftime ritual, aimed at invoking or influencing the natural world, reflecting the dualistic nature, the twin nature of angelic guidance and demonic temptation. Um, and then Usher finished this set. Um, and he repeated this phrase four times. And the number four, um, in various traditions within witchcraft and occultism um, can be can have significant or specific significance. Um, it's rooted in perhaps the four seasons or the four cardinal directions, the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. And um, it can anchor the spell or intention in the physical realm. And the act of repetition helps to solidify the practitioner's will and intention, making it more potent. Um, it could be he could be invoking the power of the four elements by repeating a chant or spell four times a practitioner might be calling upon the energy of the earth air fire and water to balance and empower their work um, so here he is repeating the phrase i turn the world to the a babe and he repeated it four times while giving us uh, a, a hand sign and the hand sign was a W and an M, uh, one pointing down, one pointing up. 
Um, and we see here the up turned to down, the Adam turned to Cain, um, and we, uh, as we saw, which is pretty symbolic of his set list as well. And uh, the words, I turn the world to the A babe, some gives us some score in Chaldean of 99, matching ushering the Antichrist Barack Obama of 99, and the Antichrist Barack Hussein Obama II, his full name, also gives us a score of 99. And I've shown in my previous decodes um, of Mr. Obama wearing uh, this uh, devil costume, as well as the work of Mr. Jonathan Kleck showing us the hidden imagery within Mr. Obama's presidential portrait hanging in the Smithsonian of him as the snake in the garden. And the A, so what is the A for? The A is for Antichrist, giving us a sum score of 222 in the English Nordinal, matching the Antichrist Barack Obama of 222. I want to thank you all for watching my decode. Uh, thank you, uh, shout out to Truth Mafia and Tommy Truthful for all your support. Shout out to Mr. Jonathan Kleck for his great work here in revealing Mr. Obama and uh, the hidden imagery found within his portrait. Um, you can follow me on Telegram or Facebook or on Truth Mafia. And I wish you all a good night and much love to all. Thank you very much.